Hey everyone, today I'm here with a makeup haul for you guys. I've picked up these items over probably the past two weeks or so um, from a few different stores. I went to CVS, that's what everything is in the CVS bag. I went to CVS, um, there's a few things from Walmart and Target are where I got all these items. All pretty much drugstore. Um, the, from Target, I got something from Sonia Kashuk, but it's available at Target, so I guess that's considered drugstore. But, alright, lots of new products that have recently come out. I will be reviewing some of these products coming up here and that sort of thing. So let's just get started. I have used a few of these items because I've been kind of collecting it to have enough to make a video. And But I will tell you about the items that I've already used. Okay, so let's start off with these um where's the other one okay these nail polishes from rimmel they're the 60 second it says right on the front 60 seconds to dry and i actually have this color on my nails well along with a glitter from julep i think it's called yumi uh, really gorgeous i thought it was nice for valentine's day this week so this is this um pink color from rimmel is called cupcake pink so it's really gorgeous it's just kind of a shiny pink color light pink color and as you can see it's on my nails and it's been on my nails for three days it's Wednesday yeah three days now and it hasn't even chipped at all so not only did it dry in 60 seconds but the color stayed on really well and then I also picked up sweet lavender which is a really gorgeous lavender color so I wanted to get some nice springy kind of colors so that I can start to transition into spring I know uh, we're already transitioning into spring. It's like February, but what can you do? I'm ready for spring. I'm ready for those fun colors. So then, uh, oh gosh, I just got tons of stuff in here. I picked up another nail polish because I had a coupon. It was on sale. Yada yada. Got it for a really good deal, but it's from Revlon. It's called Dreamer. It's a really nice light blue color so I'm pretty no sparkle or shimmer or anything just a matte looking light blue color but that's dreamer so I'm pretty excited about that again going with the light colors for spring then I got also from Revlon this photo ready eye primer and brightener I've been kind of eyeing it wanting to try it out um I haven't used it yet I was gonna open it and see if it's like a pen or what but it's looking like it's impossible to open so that I'm going to be trying out uh, is like underneath of my eyes to see how well it actually brightens. So if you want to know how that works, let me know in the comments. And then I got uh, these two products from L'Oreal, the Infallible Eyeshadows. I have been loving these lately. Today I'm wearing Ice Latte on like the, the top part of my eye as like a highlight. Love it. I've been loving wearing them wet too. If you wet your brush first and then use any of these unfollowable lip color or eye colors, gorgeous. It makes them just pop. It makes the pigment really stand out. You can wear them dry as well, but I found lately that I'm always wetting my brush before I apply them. So I went through my collection because I have a lot of the colors and I wrote them all down. I went to the store and I went and saw all the colors I don't own and these two really stood out as really pretty to me. This is Eternal Sunshine. Just a really nice like yellowy color. Goldish yellow. It'll be great again for spring adding that gold pop to some looks. And then Golden Emeralds. This is absolutely like look how... Can you see how shimmery and shiny, just gorgeous. Let me swatch this one for you. And this is actually, if you apply a really light, like I'm going to try to apply like a really light, it, you can really see the shimmer in these. Just gorgeous. If you haven't tried these out, definitely give one a try. You can wear a lot of the colors in everyday looks too, you know. They're not so crazy. Like this iced latte, I can throw it on with any color I want and it's just a gorgeous color. Then I picked up one more of the Maybelline color tattoos from their newer, five new colors just came out. I have the pink one and then I picked up Silver Strike, so... Just a gorgeous silver color. Then I picked up from Physicians Formula this week at CVS, everything was 50% off. Well, not everything. They're face products like blush, bronzer, powder, concealers, even. Everything was 50% off. Then I had a coupon for another dollar off. So I got this for like $5 or something. But this is their 
powder palette in beige and it's got like multi colors in there and it's supposed to even out skin tone and set makeup so pretty excited to try this out I haven't tried any of these ones out yet there's a couple different shades of it but this looked like the lightest one the beige one then I got um, from Target I got an elf powder or a blush this is twinkle pink if you can see it way up there in the corner this is one of the only colors I don't have yet that is available in Target some of these are only available online but twinkle pink is gorgeous it looks like it's got just a really subtle sparkle to it let me open this up so you can see it uh okay can you see yeah i think if i get the light just right you can see that really nice sparkle so pretty excited to try out twinkle pink i haven't tried that one before and then also from target these were the only two i got from target it was on clearance for ten dollars originally 14.29 so couple dollars off there. This is a Sonia Kashuk eye palette. Lots of neutral colors in here. Um, really, really gorgeous though. And I like Sonia Kashuk's eyeshadows. They're really pigmented. They stay on really well. They're easy to apply. They don't test on animals. So it's a good brand in general. Uh, this is called the Sweet Nothings eye palette. So pretty excited this one's easy to throw in your bag as well because it's small but it's got a lot of colors that you would use on an everyday basis and also from all may I picked up one of these little wake up makeup <laughs> eyeshadow palettes again they were on sale buy one get one 50% off and then I uh, well with Revlon that you could combine the two so I, that's when I got the nail polish and then I had a three dollar coupon that my CVS printed off for me so good deal on this that's the only reason I honestly tried it out but I'm kind of excited for the colors in here just and this is supposed to be a primer and then these really nice purpley and kind of beige colors and a light pink so we'll try that out again throw this in your bag you got an entire look then I got uh, let me just real quick mention this I am going to have a first impressions video of this Olay BB cream up very soon if not it might already be up on my channel when this video goes up I'm not sure because I'm planning on doing it really soon and I might put it up before this video but this is just the Olay BB cream you can you know there's lots of BB creams out there right now I wanted to try that one out I hadn't seen many reviews here on YouTube so that's why I was like maybe I'll just try that one out and let everyone know how I feel then I got a few lip products I got from L'Oreal the Le Gloss I guess L.E. Gloss Le Gloss I don't know I haven't bought lip gloss in a while I bought a ton of like lipsticks and lip balms and stains but no glosses so this is Violet Attitude whoa I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that Violet Attitude really gorgeous violet color decided to try that out then I bought one of these L'Oreal um, like they're supposed to be like a stain gloss sort of thing I guess I don't know but I bought one already and I didn't like it and I think it's just the color that I bought I don't think it works with my lips so I'm giving it one more shot with a darker color hoping that maybe it'll show up and actually do something so I can let you know how I feel about these I'm going to be doing a comparison video using a lot of these new lip products um, let me know below if you want to see that if you don't want to I won't do it but I've got a lot of you know this lip gloss this um, and then the next products I'm about to show you the covergirl balm stains and these are the last ones in my haul so we're almost done I got these covergirl lip perfection jumbo gloss balms and I got three of them I've already tried these two and I haven't opened this one up yet because I wanted to see how they compared to the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains, which I love. So, I actually, I do like these. The stain, it does last all day. Um, it's just finding the right color because this one, which they don't have the names on here once you take the plastic off, but I saved them to tell you. This one is called Blush Twist, and it doesn't show up on my lips. Barely. You can barely tell that it's there. But then this is Cocoa Twist, um, a really, really nice, like, cocoa color, I guess. I'll show you it right there. It's a, just a light brown color. It does show up on my lips, and the stain power lasts. And then this one I haven't opened, but this is Apricot Twist. They all are something twist. So... If you want to see a video comparing a bunch of the new lips products that are out, um, some other ones I have are like the balm. I have two of these, and then I have the lipsticks that kind of came out at the same time as these little stains or whatever. And then I also have a color whisper I can throw in there and compare. 
I think I have one more, but I don't remember what it is. So lots of new lip products I've purchased. Let me know if you want a comparison video like my mascara one that I did. Let me know below and I will do that. So that is my makeup haul. So let me know below if you have any of these products that you want me to review a little more in depth. Um, I will be having that BB cream review first impression video up. If it's already up, I will link it below, and once it's up, I will have the link down below if you want to check it out and see how I felt about that. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.